Hey friends, so a few months ago, I reviewed this Zeiss 32 millimeter F 1.8 Tuit lens for the Fujifilm X-mount system. It's definitely an older lens in their lineup, um, but it was something that I had been intrigued by for I feel like a decade. What had happened was um, I had gotten just like a loaner copy that had been out there for a while and when I reviewed it, I said that the image quality was great and I loved a lot of things about it, but I had this weird autofocus issue that was going on. Zeiss obviously ended up seeing that uh, video that I made and just said, hey, uh, would you mind trying this out again and we'll send you a brand new copy and just see how it is because we don't think that that's normal for this lens. So we're gonna jump in, talk about all of the things that I love uh, and don't love about this lens. Then when we get to the autofocus part, I'm gonna show a massive update uh, about whether or not this has fixed a lot of those issues and uh, we'll go from there. So as a bit of a part two to the other video that I did with the Zeiss 12 millimeter F2.8, I also had along with me the 32 millimeter F1.8 and you know used it quite a bit while I was on the drive down to Yosemite and then obviously on the way back as well. I wanted to know how well this lens performed and what its use was like. So here are a bunch of the photos I made and then after this little montage here, I guess, we will jump in and talk about the specifics. My wave is messy like the sea I wanna know if you still surf with me You know they say it might turn around I wanna know if you still be So now that we've seen some of the images from this Zeiss 32 millimeter Tuit lens, how is it uh, to work with in practice? Obviously it's a really small, compact, lightweight lens. You're getting a full frame 50 millimeter-ish equivalent, which is really great. 
You also get electronics, you know, working between the camera, obviously, but it also does that thing where if you have it on manual focus, it pulls up the ability to zoom in as soon as the camera starts manually focusing, which is super helpful. Image quality was pretty good. I mean, you're hoping that it's gonna be good with a Zeiss planar lens. The lens is a bit older, obviously, but it kind of mixes those vintage Zeiss primes with some modern aesthetics and usability on a Fujifilm camera. It was also a really good experience when using it in manual focus. You had, uh, I'm assuming it's focused by wire because you can kind of feel things moving at like the slightest of delay. So while it's not as good as just a regular manual focus lens, I do appreciate that it gives you that zoomed in ability once you start going with it. Again, also very small and compact, good aperture ring, but another one of those things where the aperture ring would be nice if it was a little bit more clicky, so it was a little more sticky. But by far the biggest downside of this lens is definitely its autofocus performance. <laughs> So I took this lens down on a family trip with me um, and just brought this camera and this lens as my only photography tools outside of my iPhone. Ended up having no issues like I had before. Uh, it ended up being really snappy and really quick. Um, so not really any much of an issue there. Overall, um, I brought it in and just did some uh, tests with the little focus chart thing here. And you can see that in all the tracking focus stuff, basically no issue with this lens at all. So it turns out I did actually have a faulty lens in terms of autofocus, but again, the rest of the stuff stands. If you were watching that original video and were concerned about the autofocus, definitely not an issue. It is definitely a lens that I would consider picking up, uh, especially on the used market. It's small, lightweight. I do think it looks really, really good on this system. And the main issue that I had with the lens turn out not to be an issue anymore. So I hope that makes sense and helps because it's kind of hard when there's an issue with a video to correct. I usually try to do that in the comments below uh, if there is sort of any issue there. But uh, since it was such a bigger thing, uh, Zeiss offered to send me this lens again to uh, test out for this video. So wanted to put that out there and uh, make sure that I guess corrected the record on this. So thanks again so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, definitely check out more of my videos in one of these playlists up here. Thanks again to Zeiss for sending this out for a, I guess, correction video. And I will see you all on the next one. Awesome.